So today is day three, the last day of Fun Launch Live. We have learned a ton, but now I want to ask people what they have learned themselves. We're barely getting into the fun space. We have our first 49 unit development down in San Diego and would love to learn more from other people. So let's go. All right, guys, I am with... Jordan Lee. All right, man. So how did you get 500 units in the net? Uh, shoot. So how did you get 500 units in the last six months? I think the biggest thing is having the right partners on the right team and having the right strategy. Just being willing to cold call brokers, cold call owners, and network the crap out of it, right? Mm -hmm. Most people don't like to hustle. Where we have the competitive advantage, we're willing to cold call all day. We buy a lot in South Texas. A strategy that you can implement is calling on properties that have out of country owners. Mm -hmm. They're wealthy individuals that are maybe building hotels or doing other things out of the country and they haven't visited their property in 10 years. So when you're calling them, they say, oh yeah, like I have that property, I forgot about it. How's it doing? Oh, it's, it's not doing that great. I don't mm -hmm. like that area. Or sometimes they lie and say it's doing great. But you're mm -hmm. like, have you seen it? Yeah. And they're like, no, I haven't. Well, it's not looking that great. We take properties and we make them look great and we take a diamond in the rough and make it a diamond. The other part on like the capital raising, it really just comes down to networking. If I can open my mouth to Joe and I say, hey, I got a deal and you tell the right story, mm -hmm. they usually want to see the offering memorandum. Recently, we got a bank to call us for a property that was built in 2019 for over two mil. But the owner, let's just say he's not with us anymore. I have no clue exactly what happened to him, mm -hmm. but the property is owned by the bank and they're willing to sell us to us for the note amount. So $1.4 million for 32 homes. Wow. Built in 2019, granite countertops, oh towel floor. Oh my gosh. And we usually don't do deals that small, like 32 mm -hmm. units. We're usually 80 units plus, but you can't pass up on that. We'll get brokers to always call us when we're, when we're offering, we say, hey, we got units at this price and they always say, bullshit. We show them our books and they're like, how? you negotiate after contract. One of the most important things is locking up deals at a decent price, and then you can tear it apart through the inspection, or mm -hmm. sometimes they say it's a assumable loan, and mm -hmm. then they're like, oh wait, it's not assumable anymore, Our bank, the bank changed their mind. Well then you can use that against them and say, hey, I'll buy it for cash, but I want $200,000 discount. Mm -hmm. And in commercial, that's not a big discount. It's like, you know, they're gonna do that all the time. Negotiate it down, and then you use that story of the negotiation tactics, how you got the deal, what you're doing with the property to raise the capital, and it comes pretty easy. Got it, I love it, man. So what are you doing here at the event? I'm just here to learn. You're managing 40 mil, and you meet these guys that are managing 40 billion, mm -hmm. right? And you're like, I'm a nobody, and you don't know what you don't know, right? We're a small team, it's like me, my brother, a couple other guys that help find deals, but the reality is, some of the guys here are running teams of 100 people, right? They're doing hedge funds, they're doing mm -hmm. stuff that you've never heard of. Some of the guys here are doing private equity. I wanna buy businesses that can help our business. Accounting firms, right? Marketing agencies, stuff that can integrate. I know a little bit, right? They go off of EBITDA and, mm -hmm. and multiple. Right. But networking with those people that can help you buy those businesses in the future. Mm -hmm. We've met a lot of real estate syndicators or fund managers and to be able to go to them and say, hey, what's your preferred return? A preferred return out here, and then we do a waterfall split, and anything above this per percentage, we're getting bigger splits. So getting those ideas, networking, yeah, meeting guys like you, like we're gonna be able to hang out in Southern California. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know? yeah. Thank you, Jordan, again for Thank coming you, on. Man. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am with? Jared Jones. Jared has done 120 triplex flips. Can you tell us a little bit about that? What is that? Yeah, I mean, we're using the ADU laws in California to convert a single family into three unit using a junior and a senior ADU or just a, a regular ADU. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, in the last 18 months, we've done that 120 times for ourselves and for our clients. So first you get a single family home, get it entitled to build two more units on it, and it becomes a triplex. Yeah, and we mainly use existing footage to mm -hmm. do that. So we're not doing something ground up in the backyard. Mm -hmm. 
we're doing garage conversions and converting portions of the house. Oh, so that helps all the costs as well. Yeah, I mean, our cost is significantly lower. Mainly we do this in the Inland Empire. Our numbers justify themselves really well. We hit like the 1% rule. Mm -hmm. So 1% per month in gross rents versus gross investment. That's our target that we're shooting for every time. And most of the time we exceed it. El, what are, what are your goals for next year? Our goal for next year, we want to do 250 projects. Wow, that's And so that's why we're here today. We're here at Fund Launch because we're actually launching a fund uh, to go out and do more of this product for ourselves. Um, out of the last 120 projects that we did, 13 of those were our own. But our goal is to do 100 uh, for ourself or our fund mm -hmm. over the next year and so that's why we're here to learn all the finishing details we've already got a couple sponsors mm -hmm. to help us raise the 20 million dollars that we need to, um, to put that product together because it cash flows so well it's an easy attractor we just wanted to come and dial in on mm -hmm. a lot of our details before we launch that okay awesome well thank you jerry for your time i appreciate yeah. you Hi guys, so I am with Julio. You, you're the owner of Jeepney. Jeepney restaurant and it's a, like a Filipino fusion? That's correct, yeah. What, what is that? So it's a Filipino, we focus on traditional, uh, some traditional and some items that are fusion. So we mm -hmm. like to modernize the cuisine um, and to try to slowly introduce the food, have some authentic, but also newly added dishes just to the guests, to cater to the guests. So mm -hmm. we focus on traditional, but also something, bringing something new to the table. Got it. So why'd you want to start the business? First and foremost, you know, my partner, she's from the Philippines mm. and we met in the restaurant. So it's a restaurant business that mm. uh, I come from a restaurant uh, oriented family mm. and uh, knowing their culture is similar to mine. I'm Latino, Colombian. I slowly immersed myself with that cuisine and I actually got to travel to the Philippines as well. Mm. So I really like the, the food, and I noticed that in Miami, there weren't a lot of uh, Filipinos, especially that cuisine. There are some Asian, slowly Japanese, you know, it's more universal and Chinese as well. Mm -hmm. So that sparked the fire in me that I wanted just to introduce that, that culture and the culinary to, to, to Miami specific. Got it, got it. What's your plans for Jeepney? We started here in 1-800-LUCKY, which is an mm -hmm. Asian food hall. If the opportunity presents itself, we can try to scale and mm -hmm. possibly open more locations throughout the city and the state and the nation. Amazing. So a lot of our viewers out there, they want to get into business. What, what's the number one tip for people that want to start a restaurant business? First and foremost, start with uh, having faith in myself. Mm. Definitely that, be committed and just push forward, you know, never give up. Nothing's gonna be easy, but you always have to strive, always push through because mm -hmm. once you make the effort and you take action, you know, this is an action-based uh, business. When you take the action, you'll slowly see the results that come with it. Well, Julio, congratulations on your success so far. I'm looking forward to your journey and wish you the best of luck, man. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.